it's Sam. So I have a new foundation routine for you guys today and this is really new to me. Um, I recently have just been kind of like obsessed with Nat and Liv on YouTube and Natalie did her under eye, like how she gets that really bright under eye in a tutorial and then she also did a foundation routine. So I kind of um, just bought like almost everything that she used because I wanted to try it out because I've never seen it done that way on YouTube from the people that I watch and I was really really intrigued because her makeup always looks beautiful on her pictures on Instagram on the videos so I wanted to try it out for you guys to see how it worked and how it comes off on film. I'm really, really, really loving the way that it's looking. I tweaked mine just a little bit because obviously I have different brushes and I have um, slightly probably like more wrinkles than them so I have a few things that I added differently that work for me that kind of gives me that really flawless like face tuned face afterwards and I absolutely love the way that my foundation is looking with the products that I use and at first it looks kind of crazy and you're like oh this is gonna look so bad like I don't even know but then after you're done and it's all finished and your whole face is put on, it really just does look so bright and so um, alive under there. It really just does like lift your face and makes you look so much younger and like awake and you, I don't know what it is, but the brightening products that, that she used underneath her eyes are honestly just amazing. They're so good. And this is actually uh, really friendly for oily skin. At first, I was like, this is going to be like one specific product, the brightening one. Uh, it's so greasy feeling, and I was like, this is going to be a nightmare throughout the day. But it does last all day long. It doesn't get any greasier than I normally would get. Um, it's definitely a lot more steps. This is not going to be something that you're going to get out of the door really quick, like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, I'm done. So if you have kids running around, and you're trying to put your makeup on, and it's just like hectic, this is not going to be something that is going to be your uh, cup of tea because there are three extra steps that do take a little bit more time. But if you are wanting to look extra glam, I know the holidays are coming up and people are going to be taking Christmas pictures and going to a lot of parties um, or, you know, family get togethers and you do want to look really, really good in pictures. I highly recommend this um technique because it really does look like I'm looking in the mirror right now and I am looking in the screen and like either way it looks so beautiful. I hope you guys find this helpful and again this is a lot of makeup. I don't want people thinking this is a super quick foundation routine and it's going to be like this. It is not. This is a time consuming, full on, full coverage, super a lot of product foundation routine. So if you're looking for something quick and easy and not a lot of makeup, click out right now because you're not going to enjoy this. Don't forget to check out the link down below. I will leave her video down below of her foundation routine and her um, under eye part so that you guys can go check it out. Let her know that I sent you. I'm a huge fan of hers and um, and both of them. I, I think I've, Natalie does more videos so I just feel like I'm, I know her more you know, we're best friends. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Please give me a thumbs up if you love learning something new, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. I'm just Sam Sherman every single where. Every single where. Okay, bye! Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is apply my primer. This is the Jo A Anti-Blemish Matte Primer. So, put that all over your face. So I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear in 3N1 and I like to apply this with my fingers because I feel like it gets the most natural looking skin like finish. You still get a good coverage but it's just more, it just doesn't get cakey or too thick looking. It just really gives a gorgeous finish to the skin and it's also a lot friendlier on the wrinkles and be sure to bring that down your neck as well especially if you are a self tanner like me, your neck and your face, the self tanner rubs off way quicker than the rest of your body. So like my shoulders and chest will still have a nice tan, but then my face and neck will be white and pink. And especially on the forehead, if you do want a little maybe fuller coverage on the rest of your face, but you do have wrinkles on your forehead, if you apply it with your fingers, it really just, it makes it so that you get as little product as possible, but still getting that coverage that you want um, so that it doesn't settle into the fine lines and wrinkles. The next thing you're going to do is take the Becca 
under eye brightening corrector and it's kind of like a pinky tone now in um, Natalie's video she applies it with a brush but I've applied it both ways and I think it's just easier and quicker to apply it with my finger so that's what I'm gonna do and you basically just put it as if you were putting your concealer down so you can take it out into your nice triangle shape But you can see how it's kind of shiny, like it's greasy looking and you're like, oh shooty bagooty, what am I putting on my face? But once you put your concealer over, it's fine. And of course once you set it and everything, but it definitely does have like a really nice brightening effect under there. Okay, and then I just blend that out with a beauty blender, making sure not to drag, but just kind of bouncing on top of it. Okay, so you're really bright under there. Then you're gonna take your concealer. This is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. The color that I have is called Meringue. Now, I don't like the applicator of this concealer because the only product you get is on the very tip, and so it makes it very hard to um, put the product down, and it's like, I don't know, I just, I don't really like the, the applicator. The concealer itself, though, is nice. Then you're going to blend that out as well. It's a lot of layers for sure. And obviously it's not for everybody if you don't want that really bright, like I call it the Instagram face because I feel like it's super popular on Instagram. But it really does look gorgeous in pictures and on film. It really lifts the face. It makes you look very youthful and kind of just like um, fabulous. Ben Nye Pretty Pink Translucent Powder. I'm going to do it with the normal brush that I use. This is the Morphe MB23. And I'm just going to kind of buff it like I normally do. It. I think if you did too much, you could definitely have a bit of a pinkish tint under there. So don't apply too much of this. Um, maybe if you like plopped it on with a sponge, you know, like baking, it might be too much. But I feel like if I just buffing it on with a brush, you would be okay. Then I'm going to take a tiny little bit of the Ben Nye Super White Powder. And she uses this in the very inner corner of her eye. I've just never seen this technique before, and I think it's interesting. Um... Because, like, you see them on Instagram and you're like, how do they get so bright under there? Well, this is how they do it. So she just puts the white just in the very inner corner, not too far out. I'm going to finish off with my normal products. So I'm going to take my NARS translucent setting powder. Same brush. I'm just going to kind of brush it off a little bit. And I'm going to get that and put that in my forehead wrinkles. Because it helps to fill everything in. I'm also going to take that on my smile lines, on my chin, upper lip, basically anywhere that you have pores, do it. Next I'm going to take my other setting powder, this is for the rest of my face, this is the Max Factor um, translucent setting powder, you can see how it's already kind of sculpted my face. by having it so bright under there, it really does make a huge difference. I am gonna take my Morphe brush, this is new, I love it, it's the E4, and I'm gonna take the Milani uh, bronzer that she used. This is the Baked Bronzer in Soleil, it's gorgeous, it's so beautiful. And um, I'm just gonna contour with that. And it's nice because it does have a little bit of a glow to it, but it's kinda nice. I really have been liking the way it looks because it gives your skin this most beautiful and it's like almost airbrushed looking I don't know I just I'm like so over matte right now because this just really looks so beautiful especially when the light shines on you you look like a glowing goddess okay I do under my lip I've also been doing my chin a little differently I've been going up on the sides of my face a little bit, which is probably why I have that gigantic zit there because this is a new bronzer and my skin's like, what? What are you putting on me? I don't appreciate it. Um, and it just kind of like makes you look a little bit more pointed in the chin area if you don't have, you know, like a strong chin. Underneath the jaw, 
to make sure that you look nice and sculpted under there and then I do like to kind of bring it down the rest of my neck just to make sure that everything is blending in and then I do the very edges of the tip of my nose for the cheeks I'm taking my M509 brush and where is my blush I love this blush it's so beautiful this is the one she also used and this is the Too Faced Love Flush I Will Always Love You and I I'm going to take that. It's like a really pretty peachy color with a little bit of gold shimmer. And I'm just going to apply that to my apples. And this is really pretty because it already has like a really gorgeous glow in it. This is the new Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Palette. It's got three different shades in here. I'm going to take Pearl, which is that one right there, and Champagne Pop and mix them together. So I just take the Sigma E40. This is my favorite highlight brush. And I just go back and forth in between the two. And I'm just going to pop that right there. I'm going to put it on the tip of my nose, down the bridge, and then my upper lip as well. Then what I did yesterday, simply because I had a little bit of a catastrophe with fallout, after I was all finished with my makeup, I went back and I applied my NARS on this big fluffy brush. This is the M500. Sorry, this is so loud and annoying. And then you just dip it in and then really buff it into the skin and it just kind of, it just, I don't know, it was amazing what it did. So I just like went back and then because this brush is so loose and amazing, it just made everything look so like polished and gorgeous. This is the finished look. So you can see how everything is just kind of like Oh, I don't think of the right word melted into each other everything is just looking so like airbrush there's no streaks there's no lines and you guys know that I have some pretty cruddy scarring on the sides here my pores aren't the best but it really just does look like super airbrushed and really just like flawless um, and you can see even though halfway through when you're doing that brightening effect it's like whoa she is gonna look so crazy like it's way too light it really does brighten up that center part of your face and like just give you more structure and ah, I don't know but I love it I absolutely love 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 these products and this technique and I want to say a huge shout out to Natalie for teaching me your ways because I honestly just am so happy with the way that it turns out when I do it this way so please 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 don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, don't forget to follow me on everything, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe because I, I told you this before, but I can't reply to you when you don't subscribe. I can only thumbs up your comment. And sometimes you just want to reply. You know what I mean? So uh, be sure to subscribe. Share with your friends if you think that this is a really fun way to do your foundation that you've never heard of before or never seen before. Um, it's just so cool. I absolutely love it. So please, please share. I would really, really love your help. Of trying to get this video out there a little bit more and um that's about it really thank you Mwah. bye my scarf is from tj maxx in case you're wondering and it's so cozy bye